Now welcome to this tutorial on c -sharp tri -parse. My name is Yannick and in this video we will explore what tri -parse is, how it works and its usage in c -sharp. We will also cover some examples to help you understand how tri -parse works. So let's get started. Now what is tri -parse? c -sharp tri -parse is a method that is used to convert a string, just as the one you can see right here, to its corresponding type. So 1, 2 and 3 would be like 123 that could potentially be an integer. So the tri -parse method checks whether the string can be converted to the specified type or not. Now in case it can be converted, it returns the converted type and if it cannot, it returns the default value. So let's see how that works in detail. As I said, 123 like this could be an integer. So let's just create an integer variable. Let's call it num. Now before we call try pass, we have to think about the type that we want to convert in. Like 123 could be an integer. So we take integer, the class itself, dot try parse. Now let's take a look at the try parse signature. We have to provide a string because we're converting from a string to an integer. So we simply put in our num string here and then we can get a result out. So we are outing a result. I will get to that just in a second. So try parse. Now let's write down num string just like this. And then we put out the value if we can parse into the num variable right here. So I will explain that one more time. We take the 123 as a string and we try to parse it Think of parsing like converting. We try to convert it into an integer. And if that works, we will have the value in the num because of the out. So if this works, we will out the value into a specified variable and we specified num here. Now, if I say 123 and I put something like this inside here, it will not work. You cannot convert this into an integer because like what should happen with A, B, C, D and E here in that string? Alrighty, so this is where try pass fails. So basically, we can have a success and a failed state. The try pass can work, or maybe it fails. And this is why we have a bool return type in the try pass right here. So what we can do is we can check if it was successful or not. Anyways, let me set a breakpoint right here. Let me start the application so that the breakpoint will stop once we reach the end of our main method, which should happen right now. If I now hover above int num right here you can see 123 as an integer so that worked you can see it in the autos window at the top left corner the num variable here is 123 as an integer whereas the num string is 123 written as a string right here alrighty now let me just add an a here a 123 let me start the application you can see that the num is still value zero so in num just like that has for sure an initial value of zero. So our try parse did not work. Alrighty, so let's get back to that if statement and bool for example. But before we do that, let me show you our C Sharp Progress Academy. It's a self-paced online course that teaches you C Sharp, ASP.NET Core, unit testing and even C Sharp software design patterns in depth. We offer a 14 day money back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C-Shop developer. So please go ahead, check it out. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming C-Shop and .NET related videos that help you become a better software developer. Now, since we know that our try parts right here is returning a bool, we can write any condition, right? So we could say like, if try parse like that is true then we have a success right we could potentially say like console write line uh, the actual out value the num here and else that would be like we have failed we could say something like converting failed something like that so just that we get any information we could also say like convert converting successful success there we go, converting success. I'm not sure if it's a great word, but anyway, so converting success and let's just hit start. I can remove that breakpoint here and we should get to that converting failed, which is quite fine because we have an A123 right here. And this is why the try parse is failing. Now there is also a parse, right? So we have int parse 
and we have int try parse. Now int try parse is returning a boolean and int parse is just like try it and if it fails it will throw an exception and your code will stop working or will just shut down if you do not catch that exception, right? So try parse, awesome. Now this is how you can use it and this gives you the possibility to determine if the try parse has worked and then you can proceed with its result or you can handle it in any other way if it does not work, right? You don't have to do it in an if statement like that. You could also say like bool uh, parsed like this and you would have an into, um, you would have a boolean value so or got parsed or whatever and then true or false or however you want to use it, right? Now, one more thing, let me just revert that. I want to get back to that out. Right now, we are outing that value, the final parsed value into that int num variable right here. But we don't have to create it here. We can also remove it and create it right inside of the try parse call. So out int num. Now we can still use it here. So if we create a value like 123, that should be convertible. We should see its value. There we go. Converting success 123. Now, very good. I think that there should be a white space, something like that, that it looks better. But anyway, I think you get the idea. So it's really about converting strings in different most of the time numeric data types. So we could also do it with a decimal, decimal dot try parse, right? Or float dot try parse. We just have to make sure that we then for sure adjust our out value or our out variable, or we simply say var, out var num. No worries, that still works too. Now we would try to put that in a float value. Now 123 can be a float, so that's quite fine. And if I, for example, set it to 123.50 and we start the application, you can see converting success 123.50. Okay, and that's it for this video. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more programming tutorials. And definitely check out our C-Shop Progress Academy. So thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video.